and I deliver a lecture on Islam and other religion and, you know, presenting Islam on different level. Before I begin my talks, let me give you about my wife in America, a white woman. That's my wife. Well, I used to work in a, in a, in a hospital a few years ago. I worked, you know, in a hospital. And I work only in the weekends. The weekdays I go, I travel all over the place in prisons, and I deliver the talks about Islam. And so this lady was hired in the facility. I don't know. So when I came to work on Saturday, I saw a paper lying on the table in my office that a lady had been you know, uh, employed. So within a few seconds, she came in the office, and I was sitting down. And she asked me, are you the, uh, the, uh, the, the, um, the supervisor? I said, yeah. I said, are you the new staff? She said, yes. All right. So I took her to um, where to work. I showed her what to do. Once I'm done doing that, I came to the office. As I was in the office sitting down doing my work, she came in. When she came in, it was time for zuhur, and I was doing my salat. I put my sajat, doing my salat in the office, and she popped in. And she saw me doing salat, going up and down, and she waited as I was praying. When I'm done with my salat, she came and she said, Mr. Muhammad. I said, yeah. She said, are you a Muslim? I said, yeah. She said, oh, Jesus love you. She said, Jesus love me. I said, I love him too. Matter of fact, if you see him, tell him I say hi. No problem. And she said, I'm serious, man. You worship Muhammad? I said, I don't worship no Muhammad. I worship Allah. Muhammad is a prophet, just like you and I. The difference is he received revelation. By virtue of that, he become the leader of mankind. That's all. But we don't worship Muhammad. And she was all over on me. So she went outside and she brought a New Testament, a small New Testament. And she's trying to save my soul. She gave it to me. And in my head, I say, you don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> If she know who she's dealing with, she wouldn't give me New Testament because it is in my head. So what happened was I took it. I didn't say anything. So on Sunday, she came again. And she brought me a little pamphlet, you know, about Christianity and stuff. I took it. And I just laughed and I went home. The following week, you know what she told me? She said, Mr. Muhammad, I have a question for you. Matter of fact, a request. I want you to come to me to the church. I said, me, come to church? She said, yeah. I said, all right, I'll, I'll go. She said, oh, the Holy Ghost, I know the Holy Ghost. I said, right. <laughs> so she know the Holy Ghost told her that I'm going to accept. So I did. And I, I dress like this all the time in America. There is wisdom in doing this. See, I dress like them. But I put my heart. So they know I'm a Muslim, but I dress like them. So all right, you know, I'm cool like that. So they accepted it. And so she told them that a big Muslim is coming to the church. So I went to the church. And the pastor was doing his thing. And I was in the front. And once the church thing is done, they gave me $200 to buy something, which, in fact, I was broke that day. <laughs> you know, so I took the money. It came at the right time. I need to buy some food stuff. I'm broke. So I said, Allah. Allah, he does things that you don't understand. So on the way going, we went home. I dropped her off and I went home. And the following week, I said, look, I want you to come to the masjid with me. She said, no, 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 no. I can't go and pray to no masjid. I pray to, uh, to God Almighty, to Jesus. I said, oh, fine. I went to the church. I didn't become a Christian. You come to the masjid. You don't have to be a Muslim. See what's going on. She said, okay, I'm going to go once. I said, just once. So she came the following week, Friday, we went to the masjid, and look at what Allah did. See, in, in our masjid, we have three imams. That is America. Imam for Tawheed. We have the imam for Hadith and Sirah. And then we have the imam people like me who specialize on comparative logic, science, and, you know, thinking stuff. So that day, I wasn't doing the salat. It was somebody else was doing the salat. But Allah in his wisdom, 
he got stuck in the traffic. He couldn't come to the masjid, so he was late. So they came to me, Muhammad, this, this okay, I do my, next week. I'm just, no, man, the guy's, the guy's late. So I just write something and, and I went. And the ladies, they stay in the back. They have a big television screen, they could see the imam. So the lady I brought here, she was with her sisters. But she saw me all of a sudden standing to be an imam. And because of her, I said, you know what? I'm going to talk a topic, the mission of Jesus. The mission of Jesus. And I'm going to use the Quran, the Bible, and logic. So I use it. And mashallah, once I'm done, she came outside. Excuse me, what, were, you, were you a Christian before you became a Muslim? I said, no. I said, so how come? Oh my God. So who, who are you? I said, well, let's talk. So we talk a little bit. Well, she went home. To cut it short, within two weeks, I'm home. And the phone rang. I picked the phone. She said, hello. I said, wa alaikum salam. And she said, Mr. Muhammad. I said, yeah. She said, um, I want to be a Muslim. I said, why? She said, because it makes sense. I said, what do you mean it makes sense? She said, because it makes sense. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, it just makes sense. She kept, <laughs> she kept saying that. See, that's the fitra. They don't know. That's why Allah said, you are the best of people chosen for mankind. Kuntu hayru ummat uhurjal linnas. Ta'amuruna bil ma'aruf wa tanhawna alil munkar. You, the Muslim, are the best of people chosen to lead mankind. Then Allah said, وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Most of mankind, they don't know Islam. They don't know. We read this in the Quran all the time. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Most people do not know. Even though Islam is the fastest growing religion, but they don't understand Islam. They don't know what it is.